So now let us look at the other type of relation that, is, that are called as symmetric relation. Symmetric relation. Assume we have a set A which is contain 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you can define the relation over A cross A. You can define the relation over A cross A. Now if a relation has to be symmetric, then that relation should contain the ordered pair. If it is containing x, y, then y, x should be there. That means if that relation is containing 1, 2, then for that relation to be symmetric, 2, 1 should also be there. In the same way, if the relation is containing 1, 3, then 3, 1 should also be there. So this relation is a symmetric relation. This relation is a symmetric relation. Okay. Now, if I say that we have a relation R2 which is containing 1, 1 and 2, 2, now this relation is also a symmetric relation. This relation is also a symmetric relation. Why it is symmetric? Because if we have 1, 1, then again, uh, if this one is represented by x, if this one is represented by x and this one is represented by y, so if we have x, y, then we also have y comma x and y comma x is also 1 comma 1. So this relation is also symmetric. Now if I have a relation, let us assume the relation R3 which is equal to 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 2 comma 1. Now this relation is also symmetric. Now this relation is also symmetric. If I have a relation R4 which is equal to 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 2 comma 1, 2 comma 2, and 3 comma 1. Now this relation is not symmetric. This relation is not symmetric. Why it is not symmetric? Because if we have 3 comma 1, because if we have 3 comma 1, then for the relation to be symmetric, we should have 1 comma 3. We should have 1 comma 3. Now if you are looking at all these relations, you can see that the above relation, this relation, the first one, it is symmetric. It is not reflexive. It is symmetric. It is not Reflexive why because it is, it is not containing the pair 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 and 4 comma 4 But the above relation is the above relation is irreflexive. This relation is irreflexive Okay, now look at the relation r2 now this relation r2 is not reflexive This relation r2 is not Reflexive, but this relation r2 is irreflexive so sorry, this relation R2 is also not irreflexive. Why? Because it is containing the pair 2 comma 2. So R2 is not reflexive as well as it is not irreflexive. If you look at the relation R3, then R3 is not reflexive. R3 is not reflexive. And R3 is also not irreflexive because it is not reflexive because it is not having the pair 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3, and 4 comma 4. And it is not irreflexive because uh, it is containing the pair 1 comma 1. Right, so you can check it in the previous videos what are reflexive and irreflexive relations. Now, if you look at the relation R4, R4 is again not reflexive and again it is not irreflexive. Again, it is not irreflexive. Now, if I take one more relation which is assume R5 which is having 1, 1, 2, 3, 3 and 4, 4. Now, in this case, this relation R5 is symmetric. This relation R5 is symmetric. It is reflexive. It is reflexive because it is having all the ordered pair which is x is related to x for all x belonging to the set A. So it is having all x is related to x. So therefore this relation is reflexive and this relation is not irreflexive. And this relation is not irreflexive. Now let us look at what is the diff what is the relationship between the symmetric and irreflexive relations. If I say this is the universal set this is the universal set this is a set of relations which are symmetric and this is a set of relations which are reflexive this is a set of relations which are reflexive so how can i say i can give an example of each of these reasons this is a universal set this is assume for this the relation is symmetric for relation to be symmetric assume we have the relation r1 which is 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1 now this relation R1 is symmetric, it is symmetric and it is not reflexive, it is not reflexive, right. So if you check this reason, if you check this reason, this one, 
So you can give an example of this reason. If I have a relation R two which is equal to one comma one, two comma two, three comma three, four comma four, and one comma two. Now this relation is this relation is reflexive. This relation is reflexive, but is it is not symmetric? Why it is not symmetric? Because if we have the pair which is one comma one, then we should have the pair which is two comma one for relation to be symmetric. So because we are not not having the pair which is two comma one, therefore this relation is not symmetric. Now if you look at this reason, this one. For this reason, the relation which is symmetric as well as reflexive. If I take the relation which is R three, which is actually one comma one, two comma two. Three comma three and four comma four. It is having only diagonal pairs, so it is reflexive. It is reflexive as well as it is symmetric. As well as it is symmetric. I can also give an example. Let us suppose we have a relation R four, which is one comma one, two comma two, three comma three, four comma four, one comma two, and two comma one. So this relation is reflexive as well as symmetric. It is reflexive as well as Symmetric. Now, can I give an example of a relation? Can I give an example of a relation which is neither reflexive nor symmetric? Yes. Assume we have a relation R five, which is one comma one, one comma two, one comma one, and one comma two. Now, this relation is not reflexive, as well as this relation is not symmetric. Why it is not symmetric? Because it is not having the pair which is Two comma one. It is not having the pair which is two comma one. So this is the relation between the, uh, the the relationship between the symmetric relations and reflexive relations. Now, can you tell me what are the number of relations which are symmetric, and what are the number of relations which are reflexive? What are the number of relations which are symmetric as well as reflexive, and what are the number of relations which are not symmetric as well as not reflexive? Try to think about it.